At 44 years old, John Legend is the very portrait of success. He's achieved the so-called EGOT, winning two Emmys, 12 Grammys, an Oscar, and a Tony, the first black man and the second youngest person ever to do so. Now he's on the road with something new, performing and telling his own story. Jeffrey Brown met up with him recently for our arts and culture series, Canvas. Just a man and his piano. The afternoon sound check on the stage of the Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts outside Washington, D.C. And that night before a packed crowd. John Legend is doing something new in his latest project. Oh, so long. Singing songs that influenced him for this night, I pray. And that brought him fame. Wizards of ordinary people. We don't know which way to go. But also telling personal stories of how he got there. In addition to selling delicious fries, McDonald's did outreach to the black community in the form of a Black History Month essay competition called Black History Makers of Tomorrow. I wrote this essay when I was 15 years old, and I said I was gonna try to make history by becoming a successful artist and using my success to try to make the world better. And I still feel that same sense of mission, and uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. The other thing you talked about was living up to this name that you chose, yes, right? I'm trying. <laughs> John Legend. Every day. <laughs> in fact, he was born and grew up as John Stevens. But as John Legend, he sold millions of albums since his 2004 debut, Get Lifted. And his 2013 love song, All of Me, oh, I give you all. an ode to his wife, model, cookbook author, and TV personality Chrissy Teigen, has some two billion streams on Spotify. Throwback in part to the rich tradition of soul and R&B, he's also known for collaborating with many of this era's biggest hip-hop stars, including at this year's Grammy Awards, where he joined Jay-Z and others in a rousing show-ender. What is it that you're bringing to that? Well, I'm bringing soul, I'm bringing gospel, I'm bringing all of my own personal experiences to that performance. And that's what they have me there for. If they don't need me to rap. <laughs> uh, but they need me there to bring that soul and the musicality. And I think I've always brought that in my collaborations with hip hop artists. Don't you ever He's celebrity coach on the hit singing competition series, The Voice. And celebrity husband, as well as dad, to the couple's three children. And he clearly thrives on performing. I feel so connected to the audience. I feel so close to the music. And it's, it feels like I'm just being fully myself up there. When the war is won. On stage now, a stripped down sure. version of John Legend. We will be sure. Oh, glory. It's just you and the piano. You yes. like that? I love it. It takes me back to being a little boy. It takes me back to the church in some ways where I grew up. It takes me back to my family where I started to learn to play the piano in our home. He grew up in Springfield, Ohio in a deeply religious household. A happy one at first, but then frayed when John was 10 and his mother, suffering depression and then addiction, left the family. He barely saw her for 10 years. That was a tough time, but it also made me more independent and more driven as a musician, mm -hmm. you don't want those experiences to happen, but those experiences mm -hmm. help create the person who you are. And if you react to it in the right way, then you can grow from it and, you know, it can inform and inspire your music, inform and inspire your drive and your ambition. And that's what it did for me. In a social media age, Legend and Chrissy Teigen are sharers with huge followings. In 2020, they shared photos of what Teagan called a miscarriage at the time. 
She has since said it was important to clarify, in light of the crackdown nationally on abortion rights, that it was, quote, an abortion to save my life for a baby that had no chance. Despite some criticism for oversharing, Legend says he's comfortable with their approach to personal and public life. I keep plenty of my private life private, even though it feels like we share a lot. For me and for my wife, so much of who we are as artists and as creatives is inspired by and driven by our family lives and our, and our relationships with our family members. And so it's all part of who I am. It's all part of the stories I tell. You've shared some difficult things, mm -hmm. a lot of grief yes. in your family. Mm -hmm. Did that help? Yes, I think it helped us, but it also helped people that we spoke to, too, because particularly when we went through pregnancy loss, there were so many people that came up to us, and they still do. Because they felt it and Because they, they felt it, too, and they've yeah. gone through it a lot of times in silence. A lot of times people feel shame about it. Yeah. They don't want to talk about it. And removing some of that stigma, especially because it's such a common occurrence. So many uh, people experience pregnancy loss, but we don't hear about it very often. Legend also wants to move the needle politically. We are in a time of reckoning. He's expanded his social activism efforts, focused on issues such as economic equity, education, and mass incarceration. I've never really had anyone ask me, what are you, or like, what's your skin tone? His so Get Lifted me, film and now book companies bring forward undertold stories and writers. It's a new dawn. He performed at Joe Biden's inauguration and says he's impressed with the president's legislative achievement, even while continuing to disagree over criminal justice policies. And he's ready to engage what he sees as a conservative backlash after George Floyd's murder and the Black Lives Matter movement. So there's been this strain in conservatism that's looked at this new awareness, this new progressivism when it came on race and said, no, we don't want that. And their backlash has been strong. And so people on the side of progressive values, people on the side of us being one nation together under God where we all have equality, have to fight, just like the folks on the side of the backlash are fighting. So I apply to work. At his That's concert, John Legend revealed his alternative life. I take a job at a place called Boston Consulting Group. Unsure of making it in music, he <laughs> worked as a management you. consultant for several years after college while recording and performing at night. It might not have been so bad a life, he says now, but... Honestly, I love making music so much. It's such an inspiring and motivating thing to be able to do. Get up in the morning and know that you can create something new that didn't exist before. Not having that in my life, I couldn't imagine it at this point. But, um, you know, I'm glad I made the decisions I made and I'm glad life worked out the way it did. the end of all time I'll stay with you. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown at the Wolf Trap National Park for the Performing Arts. Thank you. Great interview. And now I know what music I'm listening to all weekend.